Hey and welcome to the post up the Garage. Today is the day. Yesterday we've built this forge and today we will test it out by making a little forging project. So let's fire it up and see if it works. A really good benefit about this particular vacuum cleaner is that you can change the power setting. So when we turn it on, we have a low power and a high power. So while the forge heats up in the next room, we are going to talk a little bit about our project for today. What I have here are some files. So we will make a little knife out of them. The benefit when working with files like that is that they are really hard really good to work with, hold an edge really good when they are converted into a knife, but not all files are suitable for that. For example, this one here which is used on already hard chainsaw chains is really really hard. It's even too brittle for a knife. Always the best option will be a rasp like this, regular wood rasp. They tend to be much softer than metal files, especially hardened metal files, and they make really good knives. What we are using today is this one here, it's also a metal file but a really old one and we've tested it, it's much softer than the other ones. You can check that easily by taking a newer file where you know that it's hard and skid it across the other one and you see it bites right into. So this one is much softer than this one. When you are new to knife making, you probably don't know what I mean with brittle steel. So, just imagine this would be your knife. It's already have a knife-like thickness and it's hardened right now. So, what I mean with brittle is this. It breaks really easily without any effort, two fingers only. And it snaps right in part. So it looks like our forge is hot right now and when you're making a forge like this it's really necessary to have a pokey bit like this so you can put it into the slag at the bottom that the airflow is keep coming straight up and not going either side out. For now we're pretty much ready so let's start with our project. When you cover your forge up like this, it's really easy to keep more heat in it. Especially when you're working on small projects or small objects like this, it can be really helpful to cover up your forge. So much more heat stays in there and not going everywhere in the room. It also helps to keep the heat consistent over the entire chamber here. So it's a really good trick when forging. Maybe you try it out one day.
Okay guys, that was it for a little carving knife project. For the forge, yeah, it works a little bit too good in my opinion. It gets really hot, even too hot at some times, so especially at the small sections here in the knife tank, it takes only about 25-30 seconds to get really hot, even close to burning. So maybe we have to scale down the vacuum clean a little bit so that not so much air is blowing into the forge. But for bigger projects it's definitely one of my best forges so far. And the bad thing, it took me about half an hour to build. In comparison, the last forge I've built where we made our last forging projects is close to one and a half days. So this is really a good option when you want to get into blacksmithing. Okay, so nothing more for me to say on that one. If you haven't seen our last video where we built this forge, be sure to check it out. Also follow us on Instagram and Facebook and we'll see us next Wednesday. Have a nice evening guys and goodbye.